You don't have to get on a plane and fly across the ocean to find something really interesting. Sometimes we don't look for those things close to home, so hopefully we can inspire people to do that a bit more. I'm Chloe Duesberg. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Driftscape. And Driftscape's a mobile app that helps you discover local culture and find hidden gems wherever you are. We were inspired by an audio storytelling project called Murmur. It was done before smartphones, so essentially what you'd do is you'd see a sign with a phone number on it, you could dial a number and hear someone tell you a story about the place where you were. We wanted to create a mobile app so that it would be really seamless for people to get a notification when they're near a song or a story or whatever the, the media might be about the place where they are. And so we thought, why not create a platform and invite everyone to share their stories in the same place, which obviously provides a great resource for those organizations, as well as a really great tool for users because they can get a, a diversity of perspectives wherever they are. Certainly COVID presented a lot of challenges for our business, like any business, I think. We put a lot of things on hold because it felt like everyone was trying to figure out what to do next and also just trying to figure out how to work in this uh, new reality. We did some initiatives specifically to support local businesses. We did a scavenger hunt in my neighborhood where we worked with local businesses and essentially tried to get people out walking around. One of the few things that we could do at that time and then also just a way to remind people about the local businesses that were open and encourage them to visit it. That was sort of the first phase. And then as everyone, I guess, started to recognize that, you know, COVID-19 was going to be a longer term thing, we started to see that the core of what we were already doing was really useful, especially for municipalities that um, instead of promoting themselves to tourists, were essentially trying to speak to locals or people who live nearby as if they were tourists and give them a way to safely go out and rediscover their own neighborhood and their own city. I guess the advice I would give to anyone who's thinking of starting a business is the best thing you can do is just start somewhere. There's always a lot of things you need to figure out, but once you take the first step, everything you need to do after that becomes a little bit clearer. And a good first step is always just talking to other people who've done something similar, talking to people who might um, essentially have the problem that you're trying to solve. Maybe they're potential customers or someone who's working on a similar problem, maybe from a different angle. Uh, there was certainly a lot of serendipity with Driftscape I just started talking to people and then I discovered software developers that were already working on a really similar problem and so it became a natural fit uh, to start working together. So those conversations, you never know where they're going to go, but they probably will take you somewhere useful. It's always a good idea to try to remember why you started the project in the first place and maybe that's even particularly relevant in times like these where we have to change so much of what we're doing. If you can craft a mission or a vision that you and your team share, if you have a team, then that can be something useful to go back to that helps you decide how to go forward and how to change course when you need to, but still sort of keep that original vision.